Aloha, my internet family. How are you today? Welcome back to Practical Printing. My name is Chris, but some of my friends just call me Taco Boy. Do you have a number one mom at home? If so, this video might be for you. You ready? Let's do it. So with Mother's Day coming up, I thought it was time to think about some practical projects that could turn into fun projects to do with the kids. And that's where I had the idea to do the little number one mom sign uh, for something that mom could put on her desk at work or on the kitchen counter or wherever she'd like to decorate with it. Then of course the idea just evolved a little bit into you know, turning it into other words or other signs or even doing the signs that you can put on your wall. These were really easy and each of them took me about five minutes or less in Fusion 360 to design. So let's head over to the computer and I'll show you really quickly how to do these. Okay so for the first one we're going to start off in Fusion 360 and we're just going to create a new sketch and I'm going to put it on to the vertical plane here. We're just going to go sketch we're going to hit text and we're going to click right in the center. Now we can add whatever text we'd like it to say, in this case number one mom. We can make it whatever height we'd like it. Uh, 50 millimeters seems like a good number. And you can change your font or keep it Arial or whatever you'd like it to be. We'll just stick with Arial now since it has a nice flat bottom. We're going to click OK, hit Stop Sketch, and then we're going to move that back down here. We're going to hit Extrude, click on the sketch, and we're going to pull that out however far you'd like. Uh, about 5 millimeters should be good, maybe 6 millimeters. Give it a nice little bit of thickness to it. There's our number one mom extruded. Now we're going to take and we're going to create a second sketch and select the bottom of any of the letters or numbers to create the sketch on that plane. Let's rotate this so that the whole thing is up in view. We're going to pan it over here in the middle. Now I'm just going to create a rectangle of any size and the size doesn't matter, it's your personal preference, like so. We're going to hit Stop Sketch, we're going to hit Extrude and click on that. And you want to make sure that you click on the area at the bottom of the letter that you did so that it extrudes out as well. Let's rotate it so we can see which way it's going to go. And we're going to take it down say 5 or 6 millimeters. Let's go with 6. Now here's the catch. Over here on Operation, you have two choices. You can hit Join or you can hit new body. All right, let's go with new body and I'll explain why as we come back to this in the end here. Okay, so now we can hit OK. Now we're going to flip this up one more time. We're going to hit new sketch. Click on that bottom again. Oops. New sketch. Click on that bottom again. I'm going to rotate that back into view. Pan it over here and we're going to draw another box around it. Again, the size is irrelevant. You just want to give it a nice solid base. We'll go with there. Stop sketch. Let's tilt it back up where we want it. We're going to hit E for extrude again. And let's make this one six millimeters again. And we're going to keep it as a new body as well. We're going to hit OK. Now we have three different bodies for the base and for the letters. We can go up and do a create, uh, I'm sorry, modify, fill it. We can select our four corners. And we'll rotate 
rotate that to get to the other two. And we can round those over. Again, you can do any shape you like. I just wanted to give them a little bit of a round. I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, there's a little bit of an error. See that gap right there? Let me pan that up to make sure that you can see it. It's a little bit of an error. And if we rotate that, we can see why. Is when I did that second extrude, it didn't hit that area. So let's go back over to that extrude. Let's slide that back. Right click on it, edit feature, and we're going to include that middle section there. Hit OK. Now we can slide our timeline back over. You could have also selected it up here in the tree, any numerous ways of grabbing that. Now we just fix the bottom and we have that. If you'd like to make it a little bit prettier, you can create another fillet and select these additional edges, like so. Round those over again. And that's a little bit too extreme, so let's try a three and see what that does. There we go. Now we have a number one mom sign. Now you want to save it, and then we can export it for 3D printing. To do that, we're going to hit Make, 3D Print. We're going to make sure Send to 3D Print Utility is not checked. Now, here's where it gets fun. We created separate bodies here. And we have separate bodies for each of the letters, as well as each of these bases. By doing that, you can select these independently, or you can go over and select all of the bodies. If you select all of the bodies like this, you're going to export it as a single STL with everything included. For a single color print, all you would do is hit OK, and give the file a name, and export it, and then you can bring it into your slide. Conversely, if you wanted to just export each individual object as their own STL, you can select them one at a time, either the pieces of the base or the individual letters, and you can hit OK and then export just that letter as an STL. That way when you bring them into your slicer, you can print them in multicolors or do layer changes uh, if you'd like to with those separate STLs, do dual color printing, etc. Okay, so let's try the other style. Again, we're going to go create sketch. This time we're going to put it on the horizontal plane and we're going to insert our letters again. We're going to go text. We're going to start at the center point again. And let's just call it my beach. Let's make that 40 millimeters. Hit OK. And then we're going to go sketch text. And we're going to put another one down here. We're going to make that 40 millimeters as well. Beach house. Okay. Now we can grab that and the, grab that blue dot and we can position this wherever we want. So if we want to kind of line it up center like that and hit OK. We can hit E for extrude, and we want to select both of those. And let's set our distance here for six millimeters, and I'm going to make sure both of those are selected. There we go. So now we've created our text like that. Now let's flip this over and look at the back, and try to get the view here. That's our back side. So let's do another sketch. We're going to select the back as our reference point there. Again, we're going to zoom that down a little bit and pan that over so that we have the whole thing in the center of our view. This time, I'm going to go with a spline. And I'm just going to randomly kind of click around the sides here like this. This is purely random. And we're going to end up back where we started. We're going to hit Escape to unselect the spline tool. And at this point, we can grab any of these dots and just kind of reposition them wherever we'd like to, just to get this looking the way that we want. OK, now we're going to hit Stop Sketch, E for Extrude again, and then select that. 
and you do want to make sure you select the back of the letter. We're going to give it a six millimeters and hit OK. If we flip back to the front now we can see that it's sitting on a platform. Now let's go back over to the back and let's double layer this. So we're going to go create sketch again. We're going to select that back plane. This time we're going to add an offset down here on O. We're going to select that line that we just created and we're going to drag that out about there. Hit OK. Stop sketch. E for extrude. And you want to select the inside and the outside. Give that six millimeters. Not six hundred, six millimeters. Hit OK. And now we've got that. Now let's rotate it back around to the front. Okay, that gets us to this point. Now we can clean it up a little bit with fillets if we'd like to. Okay, so I'm going to leave that bottom edge alone. So this is our sign. And if we just kind of rotate it around, we can see what it's going to look like. In this case, we just did it as it all as a single body. We could have done the same thing when we did those extrudes to make it three separate bodies. And that would have allowed us to ease, more easily do a multicolor or a uh, dual extrusion print. But in this case, we just hit Make, 3D Print, select the whole thing. OK, and then we can export it, export it as a, an STL. So let's go over and see the time lapse real quick of the three that I made. I'm not going to print these ones that we just worked through, but uh, we'll see the time lapse of the ones that I just made and we'll meet back here to summarize it and wrap it up in a bit. Okay, there you have it. Now you know how to make your own simple little desk or wall signs in five minutes or less using Fusion 360. Of course, it'll take you longer than that to print it. These are great that you can just paint them with acrylic paints or whatever you have around the house. And it's something fun that you could print out quick and let the children paint to give to your wife for Mother's Day. Or if you want to decorate up the house a little bit, you can print a nice sign for the bathroom wall saying, you know, my beach house as we looked at or, or whatever you'd like to do. So that's it for this episode of Practical Printing. I hope you enjoyed this fun little project. We'll see you next time. Aloha.